Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGamingAct.com. Here we are today back in the mini golf DLC for Dead Rising 4, grabbing the up to snuff achievement. This is to average a par on a course. Now what that means is you need to average a three shot or less on any course. So I recommend doing this on the first course, which is Sansa's Village. So since we have to average three or less strokes, we are pretty much going to aim for a hole in one on the first course. That way we can uh, mess up and have a little bit of margin of error for the other three. So the second course is probably the hardest because it's the longest and it's very, very hard to get this in a few shots. First thing you want to do is you want to drive the ball into Santa's workshop and hit up the launch pads and get to the other side. Then you want to hit the Y button to switch out your clubs and you want to use the wedge to get over to the other island. Or if you're a good enough shot, you can try to use the driver since it does have an arc. But you want to aim for the back island right here and hopefully you don't overshoot it and go over and land square right here. Then what you can do is you can switch over to your putter and then try to knock it in. And this is where you want the majority of your shots to come from is uh, from these shots. Since you have to be very, very accurate with the power or else you'll roll over the hole as uh, you do in most golf games. So uh, it's all about uh, timing right here. You want to get as close to the hole as possible and then you can tap it in. So you should want to aim for about four shots and get a bogey on this second hole and you should be good. Then we can move on to hole three. So what you want to do is you want to try to hit up the uh, launch pad so you, you are limited to the putter in this hole. So uh, just try to get a pretty strong shot and uh, hit the launch pad to get yourself a little boost. You're pretty much trying to get this to the other side of the course. So you have all these explodey barrels and it's a pseudo game of pachinko right here where you're trying to get this thing to land towards the bottom in an advantageous spot. So you want it uh, closer to the hole as uh, you can. I happen to get it right here and it took me a few shots to get it in. So uh, try to practice your putting because that is the thing that will knock the most shots off. But as you can see, that's going to happen a lot. So uh, we messed up there, but luckily we can get it in with one more shot, which should give us our par since that was uh, shot number two. So we're going to tap it in with shot number three and uh, that should... Um, let us uh, be good and thanks to that hole in the one we got on the first hole We are able to now get a fourth shot on the last hole You can actually get a hole in the one in the last hole if you're good enough I happen to choke it away a bit at the start as you can see right there. I had two shots go out of bounds So uh, you can actually do this in one shot if you're good enough if you can time it right by uh, hitting the uh, ball into the middle tunnel. However, you're not so good at timing. I recommend hitting it into the far right and then switch over to your wedge and then try to hit it on the blue ramp. And then if you get the angle right, you can actually knock this in right away. But uh, it might take you a few shots. Lucky for us, that hole in one in the first hole is actually enough to give you a big enough margin of error so you can uh, manage to score two bogeys and one par and still get away with the achievement. There it is, 20 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.